<laughs> and uh, may we call on the president of Mundiana Filipinas? Okay, it's a happy day. It's an early Christmas gift to the Filipino people and to all pageant aficionados. Okay, I'm going to go down. So okay. 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 Uh, good evening and thank you, thank you so much for coming here tonight to celebrate our victory and also for the set of party of April main Park. And it feels so good to be back home with the crowd and it makes me so happy to bring so much pride in our country. So thank you for all the love and support that you gave me since day one, especially for the media press. Thank you for sharing and spreading my name throughout the social media platform. Big help for me, so thank you, thank you so much. You know, that's a really is a wonderful story because uh, we could not be happier dealing with a pageant organizer like uh, Dato Tansri Danny Oy because he has given the crown to Cyril as a gift. So she can keep this crown, right? Forever. <laughs> Actually, this is not just my crown, this is our crown. Oh, yeah. Our Filipino, fellow Filipinos, so thank you. Okay, so I'm going to leave Saibé here so you can chat with her. And I will get down. Thank you, Saibé. We are very proud of you. Yes. Of course, on behalf of Mutia Filipinas family, thank you for giving me this opportunity to experience the international pageant. You know that this is my dream, and thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Irene was doing very well during uh, the pageant, and the judges really wanted you, but uh, she had a little bit of a difficulty or a challenge with her question and answer portion, right? And right after, during the big uh, party, after the pageant, she said to me, she gave me a big hug, and she said, Mommy Cory, I'm going to do my best. I promise you, I'm going to try harder. Prophetic words, because, really prophetic words, because if the crown is for you, it is for you. Suddenly, we got the email from uh, Dr. Chansley, and uh, he said, No mixture of any kind of blood, except the Filipino. So, of course, we have to send Saiwi a first time up. She's 101% And that's it. So, the crown is on her head. So, it's destiny. It's beautiful.
Okay, solo. Anyone would like to throw in the first? No, I need very also. I 
Yeah, I So so now, uh, uh, how would you promote the Kuala Lumpur tourism to the worldwide audience as the best tourism international winner for 2019 and 2020? Because I, personally, I have not been there. So how would you attract people to visit Kuala Lumpur? Of course, it started with me as the, as the ambassador. So I would like to share my experience there. And I could say that by bringing the Malaysia's culture to different countries, it's really a big part for me and I just want to be a spokesperson to protect and to maintain the tourism and to promote their culture. Actually, they are multicultural uh, in Asia. And also I've seen on how they, on how they maintain to preserve their diversity and culture and to interact with other people. Actually, we have similar, like they are also hospitable to everyone. So, being Miss Tourism International ngayon, um, how would you equate or how would you defend uh, the rule of Miss Tourism International of just getting pure-blooded uh, representatives of each country? Because it's sabi ng iba, uh, uh, discrimination yun against sa ibang, even sa other countries. So, how would you defend that or how, what would you say to people who would be for or against that? Actually, every pageant, they have their own rules and regulations, so what we need to do is let's just respect and also understand um, on how, on how like, just like this, I just, I just replaced the Tyrell's pageant, so we just respect and understand their rules and policy, so... So, last question, do you believe in destiny? Yes, because it happened to me. Yes, it happened to you. Congratulations. Thank you. I think ito nagpanalo sa'yo ng Pagka ng Malaysia. Actually, Brother King, venue ng event nyo, fast nyo ko pinapasok. Charok! Actually, nakita ko yung post mo na ng Malaysia, oh, okay. so akala ko papanoorin mo. Oh, oh my God. Eh, kahit ako binigyan ng ticket, hindi ito ko pinapasok. Anyway, na-mention mo sa akin last time na Nilibumi yung mall mo, tama ba? Sa face? Yes. Oo. Kasi parang, um, can you explain yung pag-ibig ng mall mo for yes, the competition? Kasi, ano, parang, bawal, it's part of their rules na no visible malls in the face. So, I need to remove it. I think it's all worth it naman kasi... Oo ah, oh, nga. Yes. So, sa tingin mo, kaya kung di mo siya nilibumi, ano kayang faith? ng uh, kumpit ng ano. Disqualified ka rin kaya? Oo, oh, oh, i-consider talaga natin. Anyway, sino yung nakikaklose mo among the candidates? Uh, marami eh, pero ang naging sisterhood ko doon talaga si Miss Cambodia. Okay. Parang naging swak yung personality namin. Parehas kami kalog, parehas kami naging enjoy. And then we appreciate each other. Yeah, mm -hmm. she crowned as the Miss Dream Girl of the Year, so I'm so happy for her also. Anyway, Sayedil, thank you so much thank and congratulations. Thank you so much. And the Buhay Ang Pilipinas. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Eto. Mr. Eden Conception. Okay. Just for the benefit of maybe your PR or whatever you're going to write, the brand name, we, we changed it this year because of um, well, branding with the new, under the new, new leadership of um, Corey Kilimo is Mutia Pilipinas. But the organization has not changed. It's Mutia Nang Pilipinas Incorporated. Just to, just to know. Anyways. Oh, so really, so sa totoo lang sobrang naging malaking factor yung yung gawa mo. It was outstanding talaga. Yung gawa ni Bench Legal. Yung, yung pick up gown, no? As well as your national costume. The, I mean, team effort talaga ng mga teammates sa Pampanga. Oh, can you describe kung ano yung unang uh, 
first time that uh, you saw or feel uh, that gown and that national costume and the time that you saw it in an international competition. How can you describe your feeling? Um, actually, the national costume, a lot struggle struggles even in the airport. Right? <laughs> Yes, if it's an airport. And also, nung sinuot ko na siya when we're having our rehearsal, ilang beses po ako nadapa. Until the other candidates are complaining that I am blocking their space. So there's a chance na hindi ako makasama sa production number. Yeah, I almost cried. Pero they gave me chance. If I fall pa, so hindi na ako makakasama. And then thank God, hindi naman ako nadapa ng time na yun. So nakasama ako. And then, I won as the best in national costume. It's a bit heavy. It's a bit heavy, pero hindi ko na yun naramdaman. In-enjoy ko na lang siya. So yun, anong gusto mong sabihin dun sa design? Yes, kay Tito Rich and kay Sir Bench Legyab. You are truly a world-class Filipino designer. Kasi sobrang effort talaga nila. Imagine, within that three weeks na nag-rush kami since na in-announce na ako yung magre-replace kay Tyra. Talagang nag-rush sila, pero dedicated talaga sila na gawin yun. Kasi they know na gagawin ko din yung part ko. And they know na dream ko to, to represent the country. Kaya, oh, thank you so much, Tito Rich and Sir Benj. Can't wait to see you and hug you. <laughs> Okay, last question. Uh, who made your who made the final decision for your final look the orange thing? Uh it's actually um, it's my makeup artist, Richard Strands. Um it's just simple. Parang binan ko lang siya. I think na isip namin yun para perfect fit for the crowd. <laughs> yes. Ganun lang, simplicity lang yung definition ko doon to my final look. Yeah, I don't have earrings. Yes, actually, madami nagtatanong bakit wala akong earrings at my, uh, at the crowning moment. Meron po, nahulog lang po siya. So, nawawala yung isa. So, I don't have any choice to remove the other one. Kaya nangyari, nawala talaga akong earrings. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Parang nabasa ko yon and then si Sherlyn Gonzalez pinagiran niya. Wow. Kaso wala ng pagiram sa akin. It's okay. Oh yeah. We are so happy for you, Mangga. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Hello. Congratulations, Irene. Oh, thank you, Paul. Um, so, you went to Malaysia. Uh, you went to Malaysia. It was uh, uh, all of a sudden uh, you were you were to went went to Malaysia. That was unexpected. So, at what point during the competition in Malaysia were you already uh, was it sinking already in your mind that? You were expecting me to have an extra second title. Um, actually, before before I, before I came to Malaysia, uh, Mami Kori told me just always feel, just always think that the crown is in your head already. So every day I woke up, okay, Sai, the crown is in your head already. Wake up and fight for the Philippines. Ganun lang hanggang hanggang sa competition. Yun lang yung mindset ko. The crown is in my head already. Just perform and do your best. So that's it. But I, I, I'm not expecting that I will win, but I will perform. And they've seen it talaga. Okay, so medyo flashback muna tayo doon. When the winner was about to be announced, so nakorona na yung mga subsidiary titles. Okay. And then, and how many were you? There were about five or six of you. Four or five left on stage. If it was not you, because you haven't won any subsidiary title yet, if it wasn't you, who were you expecting to to get the title? Aside from you, of course. Maybe Miss India. 
or Miss Malaysia. I think so. Because uh, Thailand already got her crown. Yes, she already mm -hmm. had a special crown. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, Sarah. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you. Um, since you'll be promoting Malaysia to visit, no? so what do you think, uh, what can the Filipinos learn from Malaysia? I think it's all about how how they continue to preserve their culture. Mm, that's what is important. Because if, if we continue to preserve our culture, maybe the other, genera other generation will also experience how the beautiful uh, in our country is. So I think we really need to take care and we really, to, we really need to preserve our culture. So most of the time we'll be based in Malaysia? Mostly in Malaysia. I'll be based in Malaysia. Congratulations. Thank you. I <coughs> That's uh, it will take a box at your 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 dream for start this time. Well yeah, I just need to wait and if there's any chance of opportunity, so I'll grab it. It's a blessing. So thank you Viva. So but we're still planning it. Yeah, but I will sign up soon to Viva Artists. Here. <laughs> question again, what's When, when do we hear wedding bells? I don't know. Wala pa po kasi akong boyfriend ever since. No, she's she's eyeing on bigger crowns. Crown is a real queen. Any other questions? Yes, I have a question. Yes, please. Excuse me. Hi, Cyril. Armin Adina from the Philippine Daily Inquirer. Congratulations and thank you for your honor. Thank you. Um, the Philippines has the most number of crowns in Miss Tourism International. Why do you think is the Philippines the most successful country in that pageant? I think because their heart and their mind is already prepared. Because when I went there, the crews and organizers are always saying the Filipinos always humble. It's always they are always kind, and I think that that makes Filipinos stand out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here's another one. Just earlier, I was able to talk to Jadi Ludet Alipon, and she said that um, you and Tito Rogel got in touch with her a few days before you went to, to Malaysia. If you have something to tell her right now, what would you what would your message be? Yes. Really helps a lot. Actually she you like advice sa na. Okay, kapag anjan ka na, wag na wag kang magpapalate. <laughs> <laughs> ayaw nila yung malilate. And then just be yourself, enjoy mo lang, and try mo appreciate yung culture nila. And I did it. I really appreciate their culture. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much Thank once again. You. Um, just curious na ako, bakit bago na yung crown ng Miss Tourism International? Kasi di ba taon-taon yung mayroong Miss Tourism International na nakalagay? So this is the first time na bago yung crown? No, actually last year wala na din wala yung na tourism. Din? Oh. Yes, wala na rin siya. So, Even as we are asking, bakit wala na yung tourism? Uh -huh. So, I don't know. I don't know to the president. Pero wala namang naging issue doon. Um, why didn't change the crown? Yeah, but it's nice. Yeah, about you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> we have another question, Mr. Rodford. Thank you, thank you. Uh, well, this is a rather serious question, but you don't have to take it seriously. Okay. Obviously, while you're in Malaysia, foreigners, Malaysians, and even Filipinos, we we'll eventually ask you about the situations in the country. Okay? They might ask you, well, everybody knows how colorful our president is. 
So they might ask, they might ask you, what do you think of your president, President Duterte? You don't have to answer it if you don't want to. Well, I, I could probably say if they would ask that question, I can say that our president is just doing what is right. And yeah, if other people are misinterpreting, I mean, um, it's a bit, I mean, it's a bit personal for them if they've seen it, but we Filipinos uh, really observe of what the, our president is doing because he is doing that for our country, not to himself. Any other questions? We're okay? I felt? Did you want to say anything else? We, let's wish Sailil the very best because she's going to embark on a new journey with the uh, organizers of Miss Tourism International as she promotes not just Malaysian culture but Philippine culture wherever she goes. I think she's going to cover six to seven cities for six to seven countries this year. So let's wish her the very best, the best of health and energy, and stay beautiful inside and out. Stay humble. Yes. Yeah. So again, I would like to express my greatest gratitude to those people who have helped me, especially God. Thank you for this opportunity and thank you for making my dreams come true and to my family for their unconditional love, to my friends and to all my supporters for your simple great of good luck. I believe in you. It's re it really means a lot to me, so thank you. And especially to my team, to Kuya Bry, to my mentor, to my makeup artist, to Mama Richard Strands, to Polly, and to my designers, Tito Rich Sabinyan to Sir Bench Legyab, and to my stylist, Pat Manguera. Thank you so much. You've witnessed my roller coaster journey, and yet you're still here to, su to support me and give your all up love and support. Thank you, thank you so much. And also to the KF, um, to Tito Raj, to Kuya Enan, to Mommy G, to Mommy Drew, to Tito Boba. Thank you so much for helping me and to encourage me that Whatever happens, just I'll just do my best. Thank you so much. And of course to Miss Arlene, to Miss Corey, to Sir Fred, and to my Makia Pilipinas family. Thank you. Cause you never leave me. Talaga. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, we love you, Simon. Thank you. Thank you. You made the Philippines very proud. Yes.